Hey there, where did you plan to be this Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time? Why not join us over at vonlive.tv slash packedpokeset with our special guest host this week. You don't want to miss it. Hello, Metal Stoves. Way back in the beginning of February, I came across a meme about bell peppers of all things. Apparently this isn't the first time this meme has circulated, and I won't be the first to debunk it. But it's both wrong and stupid enough that I think it deserves a video. So let's grab ourselves a knife and slice, dice and debunk it. Take it away, Smiley. Flip the bell peppers over to check their gender. Except for the fact that you can't actually do that. Firstly because Capsicum anum, the plant from which we get fruits like bell peppers and chilies, has perfect flowers, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive structures. In other words, all bell pepper plants are hermaphrodites. And secondly because the first reason is only kind of true and the only parts of the plant that actually have sexes are its offspring. Confused? Welcome to the weird and wonderful world of plant reproduction. Because it turns out that apparently some people think microwave ovens are a dangerous way to heat food. Are you using a microwave? Yes or no? Yes, I am. And for what? Usually I use it to heat up foods and drinks, but right now I'm using it to make a potato go round and round. Those microwaves are causing changes in the molecular structure of our foods, the macro and micronutrients. No, the energy of microwaves is far too low for that. You're thinking of ionizing radiation. Those chemical changes to a food happens because it's getting heated, which, if you haven't figured it out already, is also what happens in a normal oven. Last time we had Ashen's slow American cousin tell us about a cancer cure that doesn't cure cancer. Continuing that theme, this time we'll have someone tell us about a cause of cancer that doesn't cause cancer. That someone is Tunis Hunt, who seems upset about some hard words he's been finding on the bag of sunscreen bottles. Hi there, this is Dr. Tunis Hunt and welcome to another Hunt for Wellness blog. Don't let the fancy title fool you, he's not an MD, he's a chiropractor. But many of you might be making a mistake with your health by lathering on toxic sunscreen. I take it that basic chemistry skills isn't required to gain a doctorate in inducing the placebo effect by fiddling around with people's spine. Being toxic and containing a lot of chemicals are not synonymous. If you've ever looked at a bottle of sunscreen, you'll probably turn it over and see tons of ingredients that are hard to pronounce. Not sure how that's relevant seeing as the difficulty of pronouncing the name of a compound doesn't have any bearing on its properties. But I'm sure the world's chemists are very sorry about not giving each of the millions of known chemicals an easily pronounced name. Today's topic is a silly diet. Now, there are of course a lot of silly diets out there, but the pH diet has got to be one of the dumbest. Needless to say, that hasn't stopped people from promoting it. One of these people is Ken. No, not that Ken. This is another one. Our pH levels in our fluids affect every single cell in our body. And uh, when it's too acidic, it is the leading cause of all disease and sickness. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one, based on a little thing called reality. We know the common symptoms of acidosis, and unsurprisingly to most of us, they don't include all known health conditions. The actual symptoms of acidosis vary and will depend on what's causing it. They commonly include fatigue, sleepiness, headaches and confusion. In some cases there will also be changes to breathing, and in severe ones seizures and coma can occur. Really the whole idea of a single cause of all diseases is just stupid. It's like saying all computer problems is due to missing drivers. Every part of a system can break, and living things have a metric fuckton of parts. Do you have a question for our guest? If so, leave in the comment section here below, or come to the show this Friday and ask him yourself. See you at vonlive.tv slash packardpokesand.